Coach, you want to lead us off? Just a quick general comment about this evening. Uh, obviously, it was a, it's a hard, fought, hard fought basketball game. I thought both, both teams did everything they could not to uh, lose this basketball game. Um, I have to give it up to uh, LaSalle for their effort tonight. They really, uh, you know, pushed us and, and kept us really on our toes in terms of uh, coaches making adjustments and players making adjustments to what they were doing defensively. But um, I think my players did a great job um, rebounding. Uh, this is something that we talked about coming into, coming into this game. We are pr pretty much at the bottom of the league in offensive and defensive rebounding. And uh, before we came on this road trip, we showed them a 10-minute clip of all the offensive rebounds that we give, we give up. And uh, I think it, it really hit home. Uh, you know, we, we do a tremendous job defensively giving up only 59 points per game, but majority of those points are second chance points. So it's something that we really, really um, honed in on, and especially, especially a team against a team like LaSalle that rebounds offensively very well. We knew to give ourselves an opportunity to win this game, we had to rebound. Questions? Rob, take it away. Before we talk about the game, Coach, your first experience at the Atlantic 10 tournament, mm -hmm. what was it like for you? Um, you know, it's still a game of basketball. It's still coaching. It's still playing, uh, coaching wonderful players like I've been doing all year. Um, you know, the only, our only emphasis now is, is really really winning the championship now that we're at the A-10 championships. Um, but, you know, it's still an opportunity to, to get these kids to play their hardest and, and to win some basketball games, even though, you know, we were predicted to finish at the bottom of the league. Uh, we've done a wonderful job this year. But it's like any other game. And the, the difference is it's, it's do or die. If we lose, we go home. And uh, they know that. And you two don't want to go home, obviously. No, obviously. No. Uh, what, she touched on it there just a second ago, the follow-up I was going to ask, and that is about the season as a whole and exceeding expectations. Um, how has the journey been for both of you personally as players uh, watching this ascension, this very quick ascension mm -hmm. by most standards for the Rams? Well. Um, obviously, I've been here for three years, so um, it was a drastic change for us. But I think the way we went into it from the beginning was kind of we, we had confidence in, in her system and, and what she was going to put us in her passion for the game. It just made it so much easier for us to transition. We were going to make mistakes, but her patience and the whole the entire coaching staff is patient has been amazing for us, and, and the transition has been great. I think the confidence that she's instilled in us has made it that much easier to, to forget about the mistakes and just keep playing and keep rebounding, even though you know we weren't doing it well. It, she had confidence in the fact that we were going to do it today and that we were going to get this win today. So that was that's the biggest thing for me, and I truly appreciate that, and I hope she knows that. <laughs> Is it the same for you when it comes to shooting? Because you didn't have the greatest day, but you hit a huge three-pointer there late to help seal it. Um, it is, because we actually went over, we had a quote today um, about just confidence and coming into the game like a champion. And I, I knew that I wasn't hitting shots and I was making turnover after turnover. But the minute she drove, I was going to hit that shot. And that was it. That's just, I, I believed it. I knew she believed it in me. Everybody on the bench didn't hesitate. She didn't hesitate to give me the ball. So I had to knock it down. And I, I'm glad I did. Anything else? All right. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you.